What up, Mile High Six here back again with a new video and today this is like my second time recording it. The first time was outside, but the wind was too bad, so I had to take it back in here. Um Broncos versus Jets in Denver. Uh first game at home for the Broncos since two thousand and since the last game of the season. So two thousand twenty. So, um, or that was 2021. I don't know if it was a January or December game. I don't know. Who cares? Who matter? It doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, it's the first game at home in a while. So, uh, I hope the fans are going to get rowdy. It's going to be nice. And uh, it's going to be against the New York Jets, a team that didn't do that well last week against the Patriots. Zach Wilson threw four picks. He's going to do better because... He just had one bad game, and it's going to be against the Broncos. He's going to throw at least a couple shots, and they're going to be connecting to Corey Davis and the Jamison Crowder or whoever's going to be his receivers or something like that. They have Michael uh, Carter, former teammate of Javante Williams. So I think he's going to do better. But, again, I think we're going to win this game by double digits. We're going to hopefully we score around 30-plus because I'm tired of that shit, man. Uh you know, I hate this conservative offense, you know, not scoring anything and uh, making ga making them into games. Like, you know, there's a lot of things that we have to do. Like, second week in a row, I have to preach. We have to get the running game going again. Like, the running game sucked um, last week. Javante was our best running back. He only got, like, 60-something yards. He was solid. And Melvin Gordon, the same amount of carries, didn't step up. He has to step up. They both have to step up. More Melvin Gordon because he's our number one back. He's the guy getting paid eight million, so you know he has to have good runs. He did good last year against the Jets. Can he do it again? We'll see. Um, and uh, yeah, we have to get the running game going. The special teams can't allow a kick return touchdown or a punt return touchdown. But I wouldn't be surprised. The special teams is garbage. The second, I don't know. That McManus kicked that ball deep into their own end zone and like. I don't know how he returned that. For I knew it was going to be a kick return TD. Um, defense has to get the pre pass rush going, man. Like, the front seven's been garbage. Uh, no pressure at all. Just Von Miller doing all the work. You know, Malik Reed needs to step up. This is his third year. I know Chubb's not playing. Chubb's out for a while. Josie Jewell's out for the season. That's going to suck, man. But Justin Cernat's going to take his place. Josie Jewell, and he was playing good. He was playing very good, uh, Justin Sternad, late. So, um, can't wait to see him. Um, so, uh, yeah, I can't wait, man. Can't fucking wait. So, uh, yeah, so, um, again, all those things have to happen. We're in mile high. Uh, the carries last week for Javante and Gordon were, um, were split, and Javante did have a better game, but you know, Gordon is the number one back because he's getting paid eight million, not because he's better. Maybe he's slightly better, but again, he's playing. He's competing with a rookie at running back, so like you know, you should be better, but you know, you're losing. Um, and yeah, so the receiver, I think the tight end group's gonna be good again. Like the tight end group has been very impressive, very underrated this year. No one's talking about them. You know, outside of that Albert O fumble, the tight end group has been good at blocking. They've been good at they catch the ball. They fucking a couple touchdowns. Albert O and Noah Fant both have two touchdowns combined this year. Eric Sauber, you know, with the blocking, like the tight end group has been very a blessing. The I mean, that's not even a word or a phrase. Like a blessing this season. Like, and I knew that they were gonna step up because Fant. I need Fant to step up, and he's been doing good so far. I know it's two games. But I want Noah Fant to have another good game. Uh, Pat Shermer's finally targeting him. And he's using the tight ends finally. Um, it took him like a whole year. Um, and the Jets, we should beat them. But, you know, I still, I'm still not like sold on this team really. I'm not sold on Bridgewater still. I don't care if it was two weeks. I don't care if he didn't turn the ball over. Um, he hasn't thrown for three touchdowns yet this season. I don't care about the national media about him. I still don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Bridgewater's still not the quarterback. Uh, he has to still prove it. If he wins this game, oh, well. 
he has to at least throw three touchdowns this game or get, like, I guess at least three touchdowns, put us in position to score more than two touchdowns this game because, like, it's the Jets. Like, they're a young team. They're going to be good one day. Like, they're, like I look, Robert Sala is not a bad coach, like, you know, at all. Like, he had a good first week. Last week was just a blunder. This week, he could improve. It's on the road. It's on the road in Denver, and we should play good in front of this crowd. But I don't know. I, I don't want a flat start, man. We have to start off good against the Jets and carry that momentum. I don't know if we'll get the ball first. again. I hope we don't get the ball first because you, we usually suck when we get the ball first. Like, we always have a stalled drive. We usually just punch or at best get a field goal. We never get a first touchdown of the game. Um, we lost, We won the coin toss two, year, two games in a row. Hey, let's go. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, Zach Wilson, another rookie quarterback, um, you know, I hope he throws picks, but I think he'll have a better game and have some deep shots to Corey Davis, because we don't have the corner, we don't have as good of corners as New England, they have, Jalen Mills was good for them, they have J.C. Jackson, uh, they, they don't have Gilmore, because he's still hurt, but they have good corners, man, they have a good corner group, they have one of the best corner groups in the league, at like, to be real, man, um, and they're gonna, he's gonna, the Jets are gonna face a solid corner. I think we're have solid corners, but we're not the best. We were overrated, but again, there's no Darby or Darby's not is hurt, so that's gonna hurt us a little bit. So, yeah, um, yeah. So I see us winning. Well, I just said thirty to seventeen. I think we'll win by thirteen, not by twenty. I'll be surprised. Maybe we'll be up by 20, and then the Jets get a fucking garbage time touchdown. I don't know, but it's gonna be um, it's gonna be an interesting game. I hope Teddy plays well. He used to play for the Jets, I think. He used to, he tried out for the Jets, and he lost his job to Sam Darnold, or he was like a backup all year for the Jets. I don't know. All I know is he was on the Jets at one point, and now he wants to get his revenge on the Jets. Ooh, um, so yeah. Uh, that's really it. Uh, the, Cortland's going to have a good game. Tim Patrick, he had a great game against them last time. There's no Jerry Judy to have, like, to take away a touchdown from their corner. Last game was, last game against the Jets last year was weird. Again, there was no fans, like, a bunch of injuries f for us and them. So, you know, hopefully we get the W. And three wins in September would be a fucking blessing. That would be... <laughs> One of the best starts since 2016 when we went 4 and 0 with Trevor Simeon. So that'd be good. And uh, to cap off September with a 3 and 0 start would be a blessing and would be very good for this team going on to face the Ravens, which that's going to be a real test. You got the Ravens, Steelers, Cowboys, Raiders, those teams. Those are tough teams. And that will show the true colors of this team. And if we could beat a couple of those teams. Then, then I have faith in this team to make the playoffs. If we don't, if we fall, then this team sucks and Bridgewater should be out, gone, and we should put Lock in like I I would lo do like right now. But you know, Bridgewater's working apparently, so we'll see. Um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This Sunday, I'll be calling the game. My first game, my first football game, calling it. Um, let's go! I can't wait to see the Broncos. At home, chanting incomplete, you know, fourth down with the horse and shit. Fucking loud crowd, you know. Last two games, we were in New York, so it was more Giants fans. And then we were in Jacksonville. More Bronco fans, obviously. The Bronco fans invaded Jacksonville like I predicted, like I knew was going to happen. But it's nothing, it's not mile high. It's not where, it's not going to have a Broncos logo in the middle. It's not going to be loud. It's not going to be... The altitude's not going to get to you. And, um, you know, we're going to be at home, 425 start, Eastern time. Uh, th was it 225 Mountain, if you live in Denver. So, uh, can't wait to see the Broncos play. Everyone have a good day. Um, this is my preview. I think we got we to gotta start off strong. And the special teams... They got to stop being retarded. Tom McMahon, you know, your job's on the line. Even if we make the playoffs, I want Tom McMahon fired, and I want a real a, a real special teams coordinator, you know, because Tom McMahon sucks, and we need to draft guys that can tackle in the special teams because it's not just this year. It's been it's, it's an issue. We give up 
kick return, punt return, touchdowns all the time, like at least a couple times a year, and that's a that's a damn problem. Everyone have a good day. Peace. <laughs>